Hi, I'm Raquel Villanueva here at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Now, it has been a dream of scientists for generations to bring back samples from the surface of Mars. Now, right now, the Mars 2020 rover mission is laying the groundwork for that to happen. And that's why I'm in the in-situ instrument laboratory with Jessica Samuels. And she's here to tell us what's going on here. Well, we use this facility to develop and design our hardware and software systems for our Mars mission. And how does the sampling system work? So we have a drill on the end of our robotic arm, and as we are drilling the surface of Mars, we will be collecting pieces of Mars into the sample tube at that time. Mm -hmm. We'll then transfer that sample tube into the inside of the rover and then seal it for storage as we continue to explore the surface. After we've collected a diverse set of samples, we will drop them off onto the surface yeah. and then have them there for our future uh, sample return mission to continue. Well, I know you have some tests to keep doing and I'm actually gonna go check out the next phase at a different lab. We're in a testing lab affectionately known as the Sandbox and I'm here with Austin Nicholas. Now, can you explain how we are gonna bring back samples from Mars? So uh, starting from uh, after 2020 has deposited tubes on the surface, there are two more missions to go in bringing the tubes back to Earth. The first is a lander mission. It carries three major elements, a sample fetch rover and a sample transfer arm that lets you transfer the samples from the fetch rover into the rocket, and a Mars ascent vehicle, which is a rocket that brings the samples from Mars into space. Meanwhile, the orbiter has also launched from Earth in 2026 and is making its way towards Mars, and it'll be in position by the time the rocket's fully loaded. The the orbiter will then go to the sample container that the rockets put into space and then capture it, ultimately bringing them to Earth in 2031. That sounds complicated. It is complicated, but fortunately we're not doing it alone. So we have a great partnership with the European Space Agency and they're providing some major pieces of this mission. Within NASA, we've actually got a number of centers working on uh, all of the different pieces. So we're partnering with Marshall Space Flight Center for the Mars Ascent Vehicle, Langley and Ames for the Earth Entry Vehicle, Glenn for the sample fetch rover wheels, and we're partnering with Goddard for the orbiter payload. And so there's really, a, it's, a, it's a whole NASA effort to get more sample return done. Sounds like there is a lot of work to be done, but this all kicks off with the launch of Mars 2020 this summer in Cape Canaveral, Florida. And there's lots of excitement here as we get ready to make history.